right. How we go there, ladies? Hi, big buddy. Big buddy. See, you could have just said hello. How are you? I didn't call y'all any names. I didn't come out. I didn't come out the gate. No, I'm sorry. All right, y'all of college days. What? Sorry. Are y'all of college age? Yeah. Okay. Let me ask you a question. Uh, I run a broadcast every night, and I just want to. I'm going around asking some women questions. Do you feel like women want their man to be perfect before marriage? Yeah. Oh, okay. Why? Because you're going to be with them for the rest of your life, and uh, you want them to be, like, good, like... Okay, so should, okay. should he expect you to be perfect? Yeah, like, you're going to try your best. What's the longest you think people should wait before they get married? Six years. <laughs> okay, like, really? If you no, it depends how old you are. Like, if you're like, you know, you're in your thirties, then it's like, you know, you're more mature. But like, if it's like you're young, let's say you're twenty, how long? Get married at like twenty-five. So you, you want to be in a relationship with somebody for five years before you marry them? Well, you're going to be with them for the rest of your life. No, no. Okay, well, okay. Thank you. I'm glad you said that. If that is the case, then why not marry them in six months? What's the difference between six months and five years? Because you don't know them. Because like, you don't know how they, their living style is. Like, what if they're... And if they're 20 just like you, what, what living style do they have at that point? Like, they're not, they're not, like, fully mature. Like, some of them are not... Okay, would you, do you think it's okay when ladies have babies at 20? No. And are you okay with women who are intimate at 20? Yeah. What's going on? Somebody there? Y'all freaking out? You th- oh, so you said that is okay? What? Intimate at 20? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you always ask the question. Yeah, of course. Okay. Like, so- <laughs> wait a minute wait a minute but you're you into okay if you're being intimate at 20 that means you're doing something that could possibly have a baby right why are you old enough to do that but too young to get married uh, it's not, that's not the same thing as getting married being intimate and getting married are two different things yeah like having a baby is less important no, of course, of course. Who said that? No one. But listen, okay, if you are with someone for six months, you decide to get married, you don't know them to the full extent. You don't know them if they'll cheat on you after five years. Like, what if they cheat on you after five years? You don't know that. Exactly, ma'am. You said it. You don't know. No, I don't know, but that's a possibility. So you're, you're, okay. Go ahead, go ahead. No, go ahead. Go, sorry. Go ahead. That's why you're going to get to know them over the years. So within six months, that's not really a lot of knowledge about them. That yeah, you guys like know a couple things. You guys are close, but like it's not like you know how they live. You don't know their family. Like you know what I mean? Okay, you. I want you to piggyback on what you said. You said you don't know what if they cheat after five years, ma'am. You never know when a person is going to cheat. So are you saying you're trying to get a person know a person for five years just in case they cheat? No, all I'm saying is. Okay, hey, imagine you're with each other for six months, right? After six months, you get married, they cheat. Done. Done. Okay, ma'am, that's six months, though. Okay. You, they cheated. Hey, are you, would you be with them still? Ma'am, I... No, 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 no. I say yes, it's a yes or no question. Would you be with them if they cheated on you? If you got married? If you were married within that six months? Are you, is that what you're asking me? Within that six... So I'm married to them after six months? You make no sense. I'm making a point. I'm making a point. You're not. Yeah, okay, listen. Y'all reword the question, okay? Listen. If you were married after six months and they cheat on you, would you still be with them? Circumstantial. Circumstantial. Okay. Okay, so my question to you is, if they cheat if they cheat on you after five years, are you staying with them? No. So what's the difference? What's the difference if they cheated six months or if they cheated five years? Either way, you still leave them. 
not as pain. Like, I'm just... No, she's not making any sense. She contradicted herself. No, I didn't. <laughs> you messed up. Okay. Um, what was your first question? What was the question asking me? How long do you think you should wait? You already answered that, though. You said... Oh, okay. You told me six years. Okay, so let me ask you this, then. If you think you should wait six years, what can that man do in that six years that will make you leave him and break up with him? What is going to happen within that six years? Besides cheating, because we already established it doesn't matter when that happens. Disrespecting his family. He could do that in the first year. Yeah, he could. Yeah, he could. And bye. Okay, so you can wait five years for that possibly to happen? Yeah, no. Thank you. No, who said yeah? Thank you. Thank you. That means you're waiting for a reason not to marry a man. If you're waiting to see if he fucks up, if he does great for the first four years of the relationship, and then in year five, he says something disrespectful to your mother, you're going to leave him, right? Yeah. Oh, thank you. So you're waiting for something to mess up. That five years to four years was useless. I'm not waiting for something to mess up. I'm just going to keep it, like, because we're not married. I'm looking to marry this man and do this man for the rest of my life. So, of course, you're not going to look and be like, well, did he do that? Like, what? Like, something's gonna happen. That's what I would do if, like, why I would leave him if something happened. Yes, ma'am, but you said f five years. In six months, not as much stuff could happen as in five years. Okay, but if he's good, you just said if he was good for four and then got to the fifth, made a mistake, started to change into this beast of a man, you would leave him, right? Why would he not do that in the first four years and then year five all of a sudden change? That's a man. That's not, that's not, I, I can't, I can't. That's Thank you. You know, people don't change like that. They don't go four years in a great relationship. What's the problem? Wait, hold on one second, one second. <laughs> you can continue while I figure out what that was. Sorry, continue. This is that's the problem. Is y'all you don't you don't understand how that sounds like you're waiting for somebody to mess up? Because if they do find the first four years and then what they're gonna magically change into somebody else? What do you think? So, so if I'm with someone for however long and they're disrespecting my mo your mother, you're not gonna you're not gonna leave her. Ma'am, you said that I just asked you if that happened within the first four years, he didn't do anything wrong, and then in year five he disrespected your mother, you leave him. So those first four years didn't mean a fucking thing because it only mattered when he screwed up. You left. It's the second he messed up. So the first four years was useless. It's under the circumstances. If he's like, what he said to my mother, if he told my mom to fuck off, if he told my mom to like, like go, like, you know, like if it was too much, then I'd like, no, that's not okay. Thank you. So in the first four years, he could have been the angel. His fifth year, he makes a mistake. He had the bad day. He tells your mom, fuck off. You're gone. That's a you just wasted five years because the first four years he was good. Ma'am, that's what I'm saying. You're looking for a reason. You're gonna wait to see if he's good for five years. You're gonna wait to see if he's good for five years. What'd you say? I mean, I, I agree with you, but like Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Y'all are expecting y'all are expecting men to be on their best behavior for five years straight just to get married out of you. Fuck that. I'm telling men to This is under the circumstance. If he is like, it's just a terrible day for him. He's gone through a lot. Okay, I'll understand. I'll talk to him. But if he's acting out of hand, like this, like over like a certain amount of days, like bye. Thank you. A few days means nothing for four years. That's what I'm saying. No matter what, he's fucked. So I'm um, telling you, do what you want to, man. But. I will always suggest men stay away from women like you because it's it's a pointless relationship. You're waiting for them to mess up. You're looking for a reason not to marry them. No man, because men know they want to be married within the first six months to a year. Go ask any man who's married and say, how long did it take you? Thank you. 